Hello, this is Sart Ro, they, them pronouns, here with Mythic MTG Tech, here to talk about magic videos, the return of me doing some magic videos, in fact, I'm already back, and why I was gone. This is not going to be an easy conversation. Buckle in, hopefully make it to the end. Why I have been gone? Well, I started a nonprofit law firm based on inclusivity, helping individuals who need help, helping individuals who are diverse. I spent a year and a half with that firm, helped a lot of people. I did family law. I did domestic violence. I did cases for diverse creators in many different fields. It ate up every single waking moment that I had and a lot of nightmare space also. It's really difficult as a lawyer dealing with cases that include domestic violence. That's the main reason I haven't been creating YouTube videos for a while. But there are a few other reasons. Magic the Social Distancing is terrible. Magic is an in-person social game about community. And I look forward to getting back over the table and playing against people in person. I love the social interaction. Additionally, I've been a little bit worried about coming out with some changes in my life to the YouTube community specifically. Not to my fans, because you guys are great, but I did a simple video on templating of pronouns in Magic the Gathering several years back, arguing with Mark Rosewater and some other members of the community, and it got slammed by a very sexist community really hard. They weren't my fans. They were a bunch of people just going after the mere idea that we use gender neutral pronouns. Now, as someone who has changed their pronouns to they, them, and has a dead name, please do not use my former name. I go by Sart. It is really difficult to make that change. It's not just pronouns though. It's also racism in our community. Since I left, Wizards of the Coast finally made a statement banning some artwork and concepts for being racist. I will not tolerate racism on this channel or any other area in which I create videos. I called out a video on TikTok and was threatened with a lawsuit and thrown out of some magic groups for mentioning. I'm okay not being a part of those groups. I want to be a part of groups where we are respectful of each other and are specifically anti-racist. Why am I back then? I see the current time period as one moving towards positivity and making a positive change with regards to these issues. I love the Magic community and I will be back playing paper. It is so much fun. When I get to sit down at a table at a local game store and play games again, it's gonna be one of the most joyful things in my life. Additionally, Strixhaven, crazy cool set. Gotta do some pre-release stuff. Let's have some fun. I'm already doing magic videos. I just haven't publicized them now until today uh, on this channel. I don't know if I'll be back to this channel, but I'm definitely doing them on TikTok. My TikTok content is 18 and over. In fact, everything in my life is going to be 18 and over at this point. I'm gonna do some awesome pack openings. Hit 2,000, I'm gonna open Double Masters. Hit 10,000, limited black border German revised. Let's have some fun. You're gonna run into other aspects about me though if you show up to TikTok. I talk about mythology. I talk about art. I talk about philosophy. I talk about law. I talk about dead things. I talk about some uncomfortable topics that are on the more mature side. So don't follow me there if you're looking to follow Magic Channel. Follow me there if you want to get to know me and talk about Magic the Gathering. I'm also streaming over on Twitch, mostly Overwatch, Chess, and Hearthstone, because I enjoy them a lot as online games. I'm seriously looking at how to stream in person Magic the Gathering on that channel, but it's going to be a little while. I like paper cards, and I probably will not be streaming digital cards there. I would greatly appreciate a simple follow and showing up in the chat once in a while to ask some questions. I'm on my way to affiliate and then partner. That's going to be a big part of my future. I'm going to talk about law there also. What videos am I going to be doing? I'm going to do a video on buy Dogecoin or bad reserve list cards. I'm also going to do a video on partner commander challenge, making a competitive partner 
Commander for under 150 bucks because I'm going to an awesome event out in New York here after things open back up very soon where I'm going to get to sit down and play Commander with Fred. Thank you all for dropping by. I've missed you. Please check me out on the other channels. And until next time, choose the cards. Why? Bonus! Lost episode. I actually did these slides and never published them several years ago. Crazy EDH prices! Hot cards to buy on the reserve. Look at these prices. I can't believe I did these. <laughs> this video never published it. Oh. I was going to talk about how cards need to be played. And cards that get played will become the most expensive cards in the environment. God, the, I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing any more magic finance videos. Because it's like trading stocks. I would rather play the game than collect the game. And cards need to be shuffled.